This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am absolutely thrilled to be speaking with Arizona singer-songwriter, the one and only James Martinez. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at his incredible song, Red Rum. <laughs> James, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing so much better now that we're finally speaking, James. Months on the books. And the audience has got a little sneak peek of your incredible song, Red Rum. Talk to us all a little bit about how you came up with the idea for the song. Uh, a lot of my songs, well, all of them, have to do with personal experiences I went through. Uh, I used to struggle with addiction really bad and it took me a long time to overcome that. Uh, red rum is a metaphor for uh, drugs, basically. And uh, I thought it was appropriate because red rum is murder spelled backwards. And I know if I ever were to relapse and go back to that life, then I'll be killing myself, basically. Well, James, you know, uh, first off, it takes a lot of courage and work that you do on yourself to be able to be as vulnerable as you are. But I'm, I can't help but think about so many people, but especially artists, these past two years, having to really get through this trauma. And I'm sure you know of some, I know of, unfortunately, too many that I'd like to admit, uh, artists that have been really, really suffering with mental illness for these past two years. What advice would you give to some artists out there who may be struggling? Uh struggling with I, what I did addiction uh, the difference between an addict that's sober and an addict that's not is perspective so mm. shifting the way you think about things is huge and that's really that's why I'm sober today is because of that shift to mentality so working on yourself is huge um, don't be too hard on yourself um, it's a struggle that 90% of the people that try to beat it don't win so just, just keep moving forward. Yeah, great advice. Well, listen, um, back to the positive stuff, James. I want to also just talk a little bit about you growing up. Where did you grow up and who are your musical influences growing up? I grew up in a small town in New Mexico. It was Bloomfield, New Mexico. It's on, by the Four Corners area. I don't know if you're familiar with that at all. It's where you No, are. that's okay. So uh, the Four Corners is uh, New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and Utah, where they all meet at one point. Um, so I grew up around there. Uh, musical influences, uh, they kind of pretty wide range. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Metallica was my favorite band growing up, um, but I also grew up during the Tupac and Biggie days. And, uh, I like listening to that. Um, small town country music was a big part of life growing up in a small town. So George Strait, Garth Brooks, Nirvana. Yeah, it bounces all over the place. I love it. Well, listen, James, before I ask my final question, I want to let the audience know for more on the incredible James Martinez. You can read more about him right below this video. James, uh, are there some songs that you've been working on that aren't released yet that you can go, kind of give us maybe a little sneak peek about? And if there are, are there any that you may want to play a little snippet of? Uh, yeah. I got one that's 
I'd have to look on my phone because I don't even have the chords memorized yet, but give me one second. <laughs> no worries, my friend. And while you're looking up that, I want to also know, James, um, you know, what inspires you when you're looking to create songs? Is it everyday life? Is it the news? Is it thinking about family, friends? It's every, so my music is my journal put to music, basically. Oh, beautifully said. Um, so I like to help people get through things that I've struggled with and got through. So that's my goal of my music is to basically help heal other people. That's incredible, incredible. So any What's... inspiration I can find for that, I'll use. Not everything gets released, but. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, of the songs that you're working on, James, uh, what song are we going to be graced with a little snippet of today? It is called, it's called Can't Be Your Excuse. I can't be your excuse anymore. Feels like that's all you think I'm good for. Did my best to love you, but love was not the cure, and I can't be your excuse anymore. You never believed me, but you had my whole heart. And it's not just that it's broken, but completely fell apart. It burned up. Quicker than a book of matches. You say you still on my heart, but here's the ashes. You can use it for whatever you want it for, but I can't be your excuse anymore. Wow, beautiful. James Martinez, ladies and gentlemen. For more on James, you can read more about him right below this video. James, I'm so excited you're coming on board this incredible new social media platform, Phoenix 360, but also I'm so grateful that we're now connected. And again, I wanna just thank you so much for being vulnerable and also sharing your story with us today. I appreciate the offer and the time we had today. Thanks for inviting me.